Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to share a haul from K Scented Melts. Um, so her, it's K A E. So I'm just gonna say K because that makes my most sense to me um, as to how it would be said. But um, she, I think it was a couple weeks ago now. Um, I've had this sitting here for a little bit. Let's see, it was shipped. Um, nine four. So, yeah, I've had it a couple weeks. Um, she had a sale where she was trying to clear out some of her stock to get like new fall scents. Um, and she was doing like fifty percent off sale. And I had not really heard about her before then. But then when she had the sale, everyone was saying how good her stuff was. So I was like, well, might as well give it a shot. And I, th I want to say she also had flat rate shipping. Um, I had the invoice and I was gonna save it so I could talk to you guys about it, but I am not seeing it now. Um, and so she had 50% off and most of what I ordered was, oops, shoot, <laughs> these two ounce scent shots. Um, but she emailed me and said a lot of stuff was out of stock and she said she was getting some more of some stuff. And I said, that's fine. I'm fine waiting. Um, and she also was asking, you know, some stuff she wasn't going to get again. That'd be okay with substitutions. Um, I said I was absolutely fine with that. Um, because this stuff was really cheap. And, you know, these were a dollar. A dollar, okay? <laughs> like, normally these are at least two dollars, so that makes it... Now, these aren't exactly two ounces, usually, but, um, you know, you're talking about, like, under a dollar an ounce. I mean, that's you know, close to 50 cents an ounce, um, which is just crazy. Now, some of these aren't, like, to the tippy top, but, look, I'm not going to complain. Um, that's probably just how she pours anyways, but, um, some people pour higher than others. But, anyways, so I, I did see once, um, some other people got their orders first, some people were complaining that she was just, like, swapping scents she didn't have, and were not happy about that. Um, and, you know, someone mentioned, like, you know, for the sale she had on her website that substitutions might be made because stuff sells out. Um, and I can't say that I even noticed that, but I'm okay with that. It doesn't bother me. And I get it. It was a really cheap sale. Um, and then these little scent shots, I want to say these were like 60 or 70 cents. Um, I think but you know, per like ounce, these were still the better probably deal. Um, anyways, I mostly ordered the two cents two ounce scent shots, but I'm guessing either she ran out of scent shots, um, or she had more like single, like small ones made. So for most of them, almost everything I ordered, she sent me two of the little instead of one big, which I am fine with. Um, you know, it's, it's a little more pain in the butt to like store them because they're smaller and it just seems like more, you know, volume. But, um, I actually really like the small scent shots because they're just easy. And you can just throw the whole thing in and you're done. Um, but, you know, if you're someone that likes to blend stuff, um, you know, I think the bigger ones give you more opportunity to make them exactly what size you want. So, anyways, I mostly got these small ones, even though I think I only ordered, like, one or two in the small ones. And as you can see, pretty much all of them are the small ones. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I got. Um, I don't have scent descriptions. I'm not even sure... She really had them listed when you were purchasing. You might have had to look at scent list. So, this one is sandalwood and fig. Um, I mostly get sandalwood on that. And I haven't had a whole lot of fig scents. Um, but I thought I'd definitely try that one. I've been hearing from a couple YouTube people. They love, love fig scents, but there's just not a ton of them. Um, and this one is apples and clover. And she did also send me quite a bit of extras. Mm. This one smells like a really nice green apple. I do get a little bit of probably extra fresh in that clover. And then this one is pumpkin souffle. Um, and when I, she said that she had stuff out. I said, you know, do your best. I said I probably prefer like fall scents. Um, so I only ordered like, I know I only ordered no more than like a two ounce scent shot. So I'm guessing she either gave one of these as an extra or it was like a substitution for something else. Um, so anyways, I got three of those. Um, and this is just, it's kind of like a pumpkin pie. Kind of smell. It's just like a pumpkin spice kind of pumpkin. Um, 
And I got two of these, the eucalyptus and spearmint. This will be a good one. I'm feeling kind of sick or, you know, I want some kind of relaxing mint blend at night or, you know, I have a headache sometimes. Those are nice. Or it would be nice for winter. And this one is hot butter pretzel. Um, and I was really excited that she had a pretzel scent because it's one of my favorites, but a lot of people don't have like a pretzel scent and I don't know why. Mm. Yeah, it's just like a really nice like pretzel scent. It does smell a little more like um, creamier than maybe like a straight pretzel, so I'm guessing it's kind of like that the hot buttered, but okay. And these ones are blue spruce. But, I mean, she said she was trying to clear out for, like, fall stuff, which I, I, maybe it was just some sense she was getting rid of and, like, consolidating, because a lot of the stuff I got is still fall stuff. Mm. Yeah, it just smells like a nice, like, Christmas tree scent, so that'll be really nice come December, January. And this one is Frosted Pumpkin. Um, this one's still like a pumpkin pie kind of spice pumpkin. Um, I don't get a whole lot of creamy with it, and this actually reminds me a lot of the pumpkin souffle. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side sniff test. Yeah, they definitely smell different. Um, they're pretty similar. I think, you, could, you know, most people probably be okay with just one, but... Best ever carrot cake. Yeah, it's just like, if you know, like, you know, what carrot cake is, um, it's just kind of like that carrot cake spice plus cake, um, and carrot cake is, like, my favorite cake ever, so, <laughs> um, carrot cake scents aren't my, like, top, top favorite, but I think it'll be nice for the fall. And this one is Sunday Brunch. Mm, this one smells like maple pancakes, um, like pancakes with maple syrup. I thought this one was also supposed to have bacon, but if it does have bacon, I really can't smell it. I'd have to look. I'm not sure if it's supposed to have bacon or not. I'm going to put some of those there, so we have something to look at besides all my nail polish. <laughs> this one is Christmas tree. Mm, yeah, it's just a really nice, you know, tree scent. Um, I do think it's they smell next to the Bruce, blue spruce. You know, they're similar, the Christmas tree and the blue spruce, but I want to say the Christmas tree one almost has, like, some extra, like, non, like, tree scent, like, some kind of, like, Christmas spice, maybe. I could be totally wrong, but, um, and this was actually, I think, one of the only ones that I ordered, like, a one-ounce scent shot in, um, banana nut bread, and, you know, I think now I'm starting to realize I really, like, banana bakery or banana like fall scents but I was still kind of undecided at that point um although this one smells more like just straight up banana to me um than like banana bakery so we'll try that maybe I was okay with one <laughs> um and this is another one where I got three of them crisp pear I definitely didn't order three so either one was a substitution or it was an extra and you know, when I first saw all the scent shots, I was just like, holy shit. Um, <laughs> and I sorted them out, and then I, you know, I went really specifically with the invoice. Um, and I definitely, for what I paid for, there was more than enough ounces, so I was I was fine with that. So, anyways, crisp pear. Um, yeah, this one just smells like a really nice, like, just plain, juicy, like, pear. <sighs> And let's see. This one is apple maple bourbon. I mostly get the apple in this. And it kind of smells more like a green apple to me. Um, but I do get something a little different. I don't think I really get maple from it, but I think I'm getting kind of like the apple bourbon the most. Um, and this one is snickerdoodle, which is usually like like a cookie scent with cinnamon, which is definitely what I'm getting in this, but I want to say 
it almost smells a little bit like pretzel to me, which is not a bad thing because I love pretzel. So <laughs> that's just what I'm getting off of it. This one is strudel and spice. Mm. Yeah, this is a nice cinnamon bakery. That one's really nice. This one is tobacco leaf and amber. Um, I really have not melted a lot of tobacco leaf, but um, or tobacco scents. This one is really creamy though, and really good. And I think I'm definitely gonna like this one. I just had a tobacco like mini melters from Rose Girls, um, and I'll have to try it. But I, I think it's a little more overwhelming, like the tobacco scent than I thought it was gonna be. But this one's gonna be really nice, I think. This one is vanilla hazelnut. Yeah, I mostly just get hazelnut. It's just like a nutty scent. Um, I don't really get a whole lot of vanilla, but that's, that's kind of just like a blender. And this one is zucchini bread. Um, you know, I don't have my invoice, but oops. <laughs> I don't think zucchini bread is one I ordered because... And if I did, I probably would have just gotten one because I'm not really a zucchini bread fan. Um, hers doesn't smell bad. When I smell it from the top... I was just like, oh, that's a nice, like, bakery. But when I smell it from the bottom, I get more of that, like, scent that I don't like about zucchini bread, where it kind of smells almost like I had one from another vendor, and I don't really want to say her name because <laughs> I really like her stuff. And it's not anything against her or anything, but this one vendor sent me a sample of zucchini bread, and when I just open the bag and smell it, it just smells like broccoli to me. <laughs> And uh, I really, really don't like broccoli. Um, like, I'm, like, on such a bad terms with broccoli. Like, I smell it. <laughs> you know, just, like, cooking it. It, like, it makes me gag. Like, I just hate it. So, um, I don't really get that with hers, but I do get a little bit of it on the bottom. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I might try melting one. Um, it doesn't go well. I'm definitely getting rid of the other one. And here's another one where there's three. So, I'm guessing one's a substitution or an extra. Um, yeah, pine cones. This one, I don't think I've tried a whole lot of pine cone scents, but it really, um, I guess I thought it smelled, it would smell more wood. And I guess it's kind of what it is, but it almost smells like a really fresh, like, spa with almost like a minty scent in it. But that just might be whatever, I don't know, weirdness I'm getting from it, but pine cones... Um, let's see. This one is Chloe's Kisses. This is one of the ones that's, like, not really bakery or Christmas or fall, but I don't remember what this one is, but it kind of reminds me of, like, little girl perfume or, like, bath stuff that's, like, a little bit, um, like, baby powder-ish. So, there is a ton of these little scent jets. Um... I think it's the last ones. Um, this one is Juniper Breeze. Um, which it just, it just kind of smells like juniper. If you know what that smells like in wax. It's just like a really fresh, nice scent. It's something you could probably, most people could probably do in their bathroom all year. Um, and this one is Apple Harvest. This one kind of smells like, like apple cider, like with that sense, like with that spice scent. So, um, that's the last of the ones that I'm pretty sure I mostly ordered. Um, and I know some of these that are the small ones, um, cause there was like two plus. Um, then I do have a couple, let's see, five of the big ones. These are what I mostly ordered, but, um, yeah, this is definitely more of this one I, Oh, you know what? It wasn't. It was a fresh pear, a crisp pear. This is a brandied pear. Yeah. Yeah, it just kind of smells like like a slightly boozy like kind of pear in a good way. This one is lemon pound cake. Um, it smells like, you know, like a lemon bakery. 
I think this is one I ordered as well, Prince Albert. This one's spicy. I definitely kind of fallish. This one is cranberry chutney. Um, I don't even know I really get cranberry off of this. It just smells like really berry to me. Um, which I guess cranberry is a berry, but I always think of cranberry kind of like in its own category. <laughs> this one is spiced mulberry. Yeah, you know, I get the fruity, but it, it is also kind of spicy, so I think that'll be nice for Christmassy winter. Um, and then I have some more of these little scent shots that I'm pretty sure were extras or, like, substitutions because um, I ordered stuff, like, in, like the two-ounce like the two ounce stuff, so. Um, although this one I may have wore just a single one because I wasn't sure what it was going to smell like. Barnwood. Yeah, it's just kind of, not like sandal, but it's just kind of woody. I think that one would be nice, though. And, oh, actually, this is a third of the Juniper Breeze. I had two of those earlier. Um, this one is Christmas Splendor. That's another really, like, kind of Christmas spice one. Maybe some cranberry or something. This one is Black Sea. Yeah, it just kind of smells like a, like a, well, Black Sea is kind of like a standard, but it's like kind of oceany scent, but kind of like a dark one. Oak Moss and Amber. Yeah, it's, um, it's like a really fresh, clean kind of spa scent. And this one is Peach Nectar. I definitely don't think I ordered this one. But. This one smells like, um, like those gummy rings, like the candies. And blueberry cobbler, which I never in a million years would have ordered, so <laughs> that's okay. I hate blueberry, but I'll give it to someone. Um, and this one is tomato on the vine. On the vine. And this one it just smells like I wouldn't say it really smells like tomato, but it smells like that earthy, like like you're going outside and like picking weeds kind of smell. Um, I may get a little bit of maybe like basil kind of scent. So that is an awful big pile. There's a lot of little scent shots. Um, it did all fit in a padded flat rate, which was nice. Um, I'll get getting stuff in those because they fit in my mailbox. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's it, guys. I got a lot of little scent shots and um, start melting them and see how they go. So that is it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.